Hey, it's the end of July, July 31st. Let's talk about what I read this month here on the channel. Stay tuned, that's coming right up here on Drew's Book Reviews. All right, well, I hope you've had a wonderful reading month for the month of July. I know I certainly have. And as usual, at the end of each and every month, we're gonna talk about how did I go about my reading this month? What have I read? How did it go for me? So let's talk about that. And as always, check out all the links down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's just get right into it. How did July go for me? Well, as usual, first I like to talk a little bit about what is my reading goal. So my reading goal, as, as mentioned, 75. 75 books this year is my goal. As of the day of filming this, I'm officially at 44 books of 75. Although I fully expect I'm going to get through at least finishing up another two, which I'm going to touch on uh, this month as well. So I should be at 46 of 75 books fully read by the end of the month. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm definitely on track to hit my reading target of 75 books. I've only got 30 more to go and I think I could do it. And I'm looking forward to completing that goal by the end of the year. Uh, that is going to be fun and I've just had some really good reading this month and I'm looking forward to talking a little bit about that as well. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what did I read this month. And as always with what I've read, this is not in any particular order. It's just what did I happen to read this month. So starting out with, I read Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson. Now this is actually a story that I read before. I believe it was included in the Arcanum Unbounded collection of stories. But I also got the novella itself as well, the little novella, and I did enjoy this. This one is about Lyft. Lyft is a bit crazy. She's, you know, a young young woman who also happens to be bonding as Spren and becoming a radiant herself. Uh, she's obsessed with pancakes and she is just crazy, always looking for her next meal. She's slipping and sliding around. She's got, she calls it awesomeness. And she is just having a lot of fun in a lot of ways, but she also finds herself kind of trapped uh, in this situation where, you know, maybe things aren't as awesome as she th thinks that they are. Like anything Cosmere is one of the most enjoyable reads that I've, that I've read. Maybe I'm just a bit Cosmere obsessed, but that is reality. Every time I read something Cosmere, I find that I super enjoy it for the most part. That being said, a lot of people find Lyft to be extremely annoying. Honestly, I can kind of understand that, but it's annoying in a way that just works, at least in my opinion. And I I love that about Lyft's character. She is fun, she's entertaining, she's a bit crazy. I can get why people find her annoying, but that's kind of what makes her a great character in some ways for me, at least. Overall, definitely enjoyed Edge Stancher by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of the novellas within the Greater Cosmere Collection. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't. I haven't checked out the Cosmere at all. Definitely make sure you do so because that is so worth it. The Cosmere is awesome. One of the other books that I thoroughly enjoyed this month was from Discworld, Thief of Time. Now this was a fun one. If you haven't already seen my dual review on this, definitely go and check that out. I'll try to remember it to link it in the cards or in the description below as well. But Thief of Time by Terry Pratchett, a thief turned time monk and the world's coming to an end. The apocalypse is coming and it's just fun. As always, Terry Pratchett is so good at kind of poking fun and illustrating on social, political, economic commentary, and even religious commentary at times, and it's just a fun read, and I really enjoyed it. I love the characters within this book. It is another one from the Death Collection, and well, worth checking out if you haven't already. Check out the Discworld in general if you haven't already. Discworld is awesome. It's amazing. It's absurdism. It's nuts. It's crazy. Go check it out if you haven't already. Love Discworld, love Thief of, Thief of Time. Such a good read. Definitely worth checking out. One of the other books that I read this past month was Cosmic Queries by Neil deGrasse Tyson. So this basically is Star Talk's guide to who we are, how we got here, and where we're going. I love me some space talk, and I really enjoyed Cosmic Queries. Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of those celebrity scientists, but the guy knows what he's talking about. And it was just fun, really taking a look into the cosmos and where it came from, how we got here. Overall, it's just fun. This one is actually has a lot of illustrations or pictures within it to kind of help you understand what is being talked about in that particular section a lot. It also includes a lot of like tweets 
and whatnot. Love some of the pictures they provided, like the Large Hadron Collider and that sort of thing. It includes tweets from Neil deGrasse Tyson, which honestly, some of his tweets could be really entertaining to follow if you don't already. But overall, Cosmic Queries, fantastic read if you're into kind of that cosmology space stuff. I know I certainly am. I really enjoyed it, and I think if you're into that kind of stuff, you'll enjoy it as well. One of the other books that I finished up in my rereads, this is from my rereads, I'm reading the series to my daughter, and she is thoroughly enjoying it, and I am enjoying reading to her. I finished up J.R.R. Tolkien's The Two Towers, so the second book in The Lord of the Rings, which most people know already, but they basically uh, The Tower of Mordor, of course, being one of them, and just the adventures of Sam and... Bilbo and Gan well Bilbo's not so much in these ones but you know Gandalf and Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas and Sam and Merry and Pippin and all those fun 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 people and just an adventurous story and overall enjoying rereading this myself as I read it to my daughter who was also thoroughly enjoying it I'm really really looking forward to finishing up the series with her as we continue our way through the Lord of the Rings trilogy this has been a fun Book to read to her and I just love that she's loving it uh, and who knows what we're gonna read next right we'll just kind of have to wait and see on that one one of the other ones that I finished up was Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter this is actually the viewers choice review for this upcoming month so make sure you stay tuned for when that review drops hope that this was hyped a lot on booktube when it first came out and I'm glad I finally got around to reading Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter so definitely make sure that you stay tuned for that and hear my thoughts on this one. Again, I hope to get the review on this one out by August 15th. So stay tuned. That will be coming up as well. So one of the books that I was actually planning on reading, but didn't actually get to, didn't read or chose not to read was Elizabeth George's Just One Evil Act. I was originally going to read this one, but uh, I later found out it was actually part of a series, the 12th one in the series. It's in a genre, you know, mystery, detective stuff, fiction that isn't really my typical go-to as it is. And even the fans of this series didn't seem to think it was that great um, based on the little that I've read there. So I thought, okay, 12th in a series, not really my style, not my typical type of book. Do I really want to jump in on a book in a series that even the fans didn't like that much? No. So I set that one aside. I'm not going to read that one, just one evil act. That was originally on my plans. But because I didn't end up reading just one evil act, that actually left me with a lot of time left in the month to get a head start on some things. So I actually ended up finishing my collected works of H.P. Lovecraft. Originally, I had only planned to read three stories this month. The three stories that I'd planned on reading initially, and only these three, were Pickman's model, The Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath, and The Case of Charles Dexter Ward. But of course, because I have all this time left over in the month because I'm no longer reading one of my planned books, I actually ended up finishing all the stories. So we got through those three, of course, but also we ended up getting through The Color Out of Space, The Dun Dunwich Horror, The Whisper in the Darkness, At the Mountains of Madness, The Shadow of Innsmouth, The Dreams in the Witch House, The Thing on the Doorstep, as well as The Shadow Out of Time and The Hunters of the Dark. So I ended up getting through quite a bit of my HP Lovecraft collected works this month, which is just awesome. And I do plan on kind of doing a review of this particular collected works book as a whole. So again, stay tuned for that. I look forward to sharing my thoughts on this book as a whole with you and just my general experiences of reading HP Lovecraft for the first time. Before I got this book, I of course had heard of HP Lovecraft, I knew some of the mythos of the old ones, and you know the color out of space i'd heard about the dunwich horror things like that i've heard a lot about these different aspects of lovecraft and cthulhu mountains of madness all that good stuff but i hadn't actually had the opportunity to actually read through hp lovecraft stories so it was just a fantastic thing to do and i really enjoyed it so stay tuned because i am going to be sharing my overall thoughts on hp lovecraft's collected works with you for sure one of the other books that I finished up this month was The Broken Eye by Brent Weeks. This is the third book in the Lightbringer saga. I am rereading the series through graphic audio right from the beginning uh, all the way through to the end. So I haven't actually read The Burning White yet, which is the last book in this series. So I'm looking forward to my completing my reread of books one through four 
before I get on to book five, The Burning White. And after that is done, I do expect I'm going to do a full series review on the, these books. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm really enjoying the Lightbringer series overall. It is a fun, entertaining read based around light magic, which is pretty awesome. The whole world revolves around light and color spectrums and all that kind of stuff. Definitely it's a unique magic system. I haven't come across one quite like it in other books, and I really do enjoy I really am enjoying Brent Week's Lightbringer series. Well worth the read. I'm glad I'm rereading it, and I'm glad I'm reading along with it from the graphic audio, which is just absolutely fun and entertaining. I love the graphic audio compared to just the standard audiobook. It just seems to enhance the experience so much, so I'm so glad that I was able to get the graphic audio versions of these books. Good stuff all around for sure. And the last book on my reads for this month, this is what I am currently reading. This is, of course, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the third book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So this is what I am reading right now as I continue my read of this book to my daughter and hopefully re reading a little bit every day. So we'll probably finish early September, I'm thinking, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll finish up sometime in the month of August. Who knows? But this is what I am currently reading as of today as of when you're watching this video or as of today or if you watch this after I'm done reading it okay that's cool too but anyway this is what I am currently reading the Lord of the Rings the return of the king again fun read having fun reading it my daughter's enjoying it so there you have it there is my wrap up that is what I read in the month of July so comment down below tell me what did you read in july have you read any of these books did you enjoy them not like them whatever i'd love to chat with you either down below in the comments from the discord you can join the links down below for that as well thank you so much for watching that was my month of july and i hope you had a fantastic month of reading in the month of july and hope you have a great month of reading in the month of august thank you so much for watching and as always until next time keep on reading bye